Hey guys, what's up, it's Jax the Legend, and today I'm here with another Minecraft information video. And this week's information video, we're going to be looking at bees. Now, I have done a general bee information video, if you want to see that, go check it out. So I'm not going to be going over some of the basics. But what I will be going over is how you can get bees very easily in the hive, and you can also how to get hives using this very nifty thing that I like to call the bee trap. So we have two different types of bee hive slash nests. We have this first natural looking one here, which is the bee nest, and then this man-made made one, which is the hive. So, with no silk touch, when you break the hive, you will just receive an empty thing. So let's break that now. You can see it is an empty hive, and the bees that were in that hive are now very, very, very angry at me. Where, if we do this with a nest and try and break it with a regular pickaxe, oop, nest over here, it won't, it won't drop anything. Nothing will drop and we won't get anything for that. These bees are very annoying. And we'll, with Silk Touch, let's have a look at here. The hive will drop with full with honey, so as much honey as it has. And then it will also drop all the bees that have been stored inside of it, so a maximum of three. Let's break that. You can see we now have a beehive, and if I go place it over here, it has honey in it. Now let's do that with the nest as well, which should have the same app in it like sort of output. It's a bee nest. And boop, it still has honey. Well, that gorgeous honey. These bees are incredibly annoying, but very cute. So that is how you get a beehive slash bee nest very, very easily if you have enchantments. But sometimes you don't have them and you need a different way to get them. So let's have a look at the alternatives. Okay, so for any sort of bee farm or honey farm or honeycomb farm, whatever you like want to call it out there, you're going to need some sort of either hive or nest. Now, in the early game where you probably want one of these, you, you will not be able to get one of these nests because you're going to need a silk touch unless you're incredibly lucky and have gotten that. So you're going to want to create a bee hive with six planks of wood, any sort of wood, and three honeycomb. Now, to get this honeycomb, you have to shear these bee nests out in the wild. Now, the only problem is, when you shear these bee nests, the bees will attack you and potentially kill you. So, you can do this by using a campfire. However, I found a much easier way by only using one block. So, because a bee can only exit from the front of the hive, but can enter from all the other sides, you can place a block in front of it to trap the bees in there. Let's just wait for a few bees to come out so I can really show you this. Okay, so a bee just popped out. Now let's place a block in front of it. So now he's just pollinating and soon he'll enter the hive but won't be able to exit. So let's wait for that. So this right here is a wild bee's nest. Now this also does work on the hive. So you can see he just entered it, he just disappeared, so now he is trapped inside of that. So now, I just need to grab my shears and my leads. I can shear this bee hive, this bee nest, and get my honeycomb to create my bee hive. I'm one off, so I just gotta do, I'll have to, oh no, there it is. And then I can break this, and the bees, when they pop out, they will not be angry, so there's just one more in there. And because they're not angry, they won't try and sting me and die, so that means I can grab these bees, Grab my, grab some wood and head home, create my hive and chuck these bees into them. Now there are many other ways you can use this bee trap. So let's have a look at another. The other great use for this bee trap or this hive or nest trap is to get honey, honey bottles on the go or a few honey bottles. Because sometimes in survival, you don't want five double chests of honey bottles. And I get that, you only want maybe one or two. So like I showed you before, all you would have to do is grab out your block and your glass bottle, place a block in front of your hive, and then grab out your honey. Just like this. Now, in both of these examples, I've had all of my bees in the hive, and this is crucial because the bees outside will still get angry at you if you damage their hive or steal from them. Even if this means waiting a minute or two once you've placed your block to let the bees pop in, it's totally worth it because otherwise you'll lose your bees and maybe even lose your stuff. So, now let's break this block, the bees loose, and they're not going to be angry at me, and I've got my honey bottle to go have a nice swig of. Delicious. Now, Jax, what if I do have Silk Touch and I want to get some bees very quickly, as well as a nest? Well, let me show you that. 
On to our next exhibit, the fastest way to get the nest and all the bees. So it is very annoying to get bees a nest with all the bees in it because they pop in and out at random times. So you always so there might not always be three in there. So to secure that they, there is three, you want to block off their entrance like we did it back there, just by placing a block in front of it so they can't exit, and they can only enter from all the sides like this. Right now we're just waiting for them to collect their hunt pollen and then walk in and try and create honey, but little do they know, they're walking directly into my trap. Okay, so there we have one bee going in. Now we're just waiting on this very last one. Hello, little bee. How you going? Don't know pollen yet. Yeah. There we go. He has pollen and he went into his hive. So now we know that all three bees are in here and we can easily collect it with our silk touch pickaxe so by doing this, breaking it, and then just walking away and placing it at our bee farm. So now, you can see if I place this back like this and break the block, some bees will start to come out very soon. And there we have our first bee popping out, so you can see that all the bees are still in there, which is super useful so you don't have to bring them with leads. So there you have how to do it with a silk touch. Now one th another thing that I get a lot of questions about is how to get a bee to accept a new hive. Now let me show you the easiest way of doing that over in our next room. So this tactic is for when you have a hive rather than collecting the bees in the nest itself. To do this, all you have to do is grab out your hive and you'll have some leads. These are very easy to get now from the um, wandering traders, by the way, if you're wandering an easy, way to, an easy source of them. And collect your bees like this. If I break this and put them all on my lead. All you have to do is walk over to here and put them on a fence post nearby. They will slowly accept the um, hive and then they'll go into it. Now it takes a little few minutes for the Minecraft bees data to build up, so make sure to be patient with them. But they cannot fly off and find a different hive because they are on the leads and they are already starting to build that data. When they do go in, they break the leads, but do not sort of glitch them or despawn them, so you can still keep your leads. Now you can see one has gone in and then the other two are at the back. Once they are actually in this hive, it becomes there, they have claimed it, and they were not going to fly away, they're going to keep on creating honey for this hive. As well as that, bee traps are very useful for when building automatic honey farms, because if you haven't fully collected the materials but you've got all of the bee nests ready, you can put the bees in there, silk touch them using the bee trap, and then put them in a chest ready for later, and you can store as many as you want. Now I'm sure there's loads of fun things that you could do with this bee trap, so if you guys have any suggestions where you're not exactly sure how to build them, make sure to leave them in the comment section down below, and I'll have a go at building them and putting them into my redstone world. So now you know the fastest and easiest way to get honeycomb without worrying about dispensers or campfires. So that's going to be the end of this video guys, I hope you guys enjoyed, please leave a like, comment, and remember to subscribe if you're new, and I will see you guys later. Oh, and remember, stay carbonated!